does Mahoyo, Hoyoverse, whoever, the company that makes Genshin Impact, do they really care about the game anymore? There's nothing to do in the game. I just log in, do my dailies, use my resin, and log off. There's n there's nothing to do. I've even been, like, forgetting to redeem the 20 Primo gems for my daily commissions from doing all four of them just because I log off that quick. There's nothing to do. I feel bored, you know? There's no end game content. There's nothing exciting to do. I mean, there's Spiral Abyss that resets every month, every half month, but even that, when you get the hang of the new Abyss, I've found that the new Abyss is hard until you find out strategy to do it, and then it's not hard at all the second time around. The new event that they put in the game, it, it's 40 days long. I appreciate that they're not time gating it at least, but it's three hours of content. You wouldn't need to time get it anyways. You finished the event in less than a week, maybe three days. If you're playing casually, if you finish the event just because there's there's new content and you want to consume it so fast because, you know, it's new. It, there's something else to do and then it goes away and then you're left with literally nothing to do for a month. There's currently, as of recording this, 28 days, 28 days left of that event, and I already did all of it, and that was like a week ago. Hoyoverse is rebranding Mahoyo from Mahoyo to Hoyoverse. It almost seems like they're kind of leaving Genshin behind. They're leaving Genshin behind, they're leaving Honkai Impact behind. These games that they really worked hard on, you can tell, they put a lot of effort into making these games and they just don't improve them. It's a multi-billion dollar company at this point and they're still putting out mediocre at best updates every six weeks. I mean, the last three, the last three patches have just been filler updates. The quests are all dialogue and nothing really interesting happening. The, uh, the character quests are even worse. I mean, when's the last time we actually saw our sibling, the evil sibling? What was that, 1.4? That was like a year ago at this point. We haven't even... We haven't even advanced ourselves in the story. They're releasing new characters every update, sort of, most of the time they are, but new characters do not mean new content, even for people that can get the new characters. Sure, it's fun to use them and all, but if you're just doing the same exact boss with a slightly different character, it's the same. I do, however, appreciate that they're at least changing the characters kits, at least. I think they've caught on to the fact that we've caught on that they've literally been copy-pasting the same exact kit over and over and over again. Let's see, these characters that I'm about to list off have pretty much the same kit. Hu Tao, Arataki Ito, Raiden Shogun, Shao, Child, Kokomi, Yoimiya, Razor, Chung Yun. All of these characters, they have the same exact kit. You press a button, you're your damage gets better, or your stance changes, and then when the timer expires, it goes back, unless it's child, in which case you have to time it better and swap out after about 10 seconds so that your cooldown isn't 40 seconds long. It's the same thing over and over and over, and at least with Yaimiko and Kazuha and some of these new characters, they're not doing that and they're like implementing new ways to use the character, but like, with all of the DPSs, it's pretty much exactly the same every single time. The new content that has ever been permanently added to the game, besides new regions, because those are always new, just full of new stuff, which are which are awesome, but we haven't gotten a new region since 2.0, and it's been a bit since then. All this new content they're adding, oh, new boss, there's a new boss, there's a new weekly boss, there's a new normal boss that you can farm mats for. It's, it's the same thing. You defeat the boss in five seconds with your overcowered characters that nothing can match them because you've been building them for two years, and you haven't even needed to change your artifacts for one and a half. There's nothing that matches up to that. I mean, my Hu Tao. <laughs> my Hu Tao just kills everything. No matter how much HP the thing has. You have Zhongli, so you can't get hurt. And you have Hu Tao, so they don't- they can't hurt you because they'll be dead in three charge attacks. The biggest thing to look forward is the weekly or monthly reset. I mean, that's the newest form of content to do your battle pass missions or 
do the Spiral Abyss every half of a month. Even this video, just to get the background footage for it, I had to wait till the weekly reset just because there's that little to do. Any video ideas I make are just me playing around with a new character or trying a different build on a new character because there's not really anything to do. That new event I could have tried to make a video on, but it would have just been me running around and opening chests, which personally I don't think is very entertaining. Unless there's some sort of challenging content, not even, just something new, something different, something with vastly different mechanics. And by vastly different mechanics, I don't mean a bleed mechanic or something obnoxiously annoying like an elemental shield. It doesn't even have to be complex or difficult. It just has to be something different. So I don't know, does Hoyoverse really care? We'll have to wait. <laughs> We'll have to wait 40 days to find out if they're just going to put in filler patch after filler patch or after filler patch, or if they're actually going to put in some like new robust content, if they're going to add in Sumeru or anything like that. But we'll just have to see. And uh, for now, that's it. Bye.